Elementary school librarian rejects Melania Trump's book donation. An elementary school librarian in Massachusetts rejected a donation made by the First Lady Melania Trump to her school's library. CBS Boston reports that Cranbridge Port Elementary School and Cranbridge, Massachusetts was one of the selected number of schools chosen by the White House to receive 10 Dr. Seuss's Book for Nation Reading Book Day. The White House chose one school from each state to send the books. Liz Phil Serino, might be mispronouncing name on the screen, Carambridge Port Elementary School Librarian, penned an editorial for the Hornbook Family Reading Blog explaining why she would not accept the First Lady's gift. Let me guess, has to do with racism. My students have access to the school library with over 9,000 volumes and a library with a graduate degree in librarian science. Multiple studies show that a school with professionally staffed libraries improves students' performance, wrote Phillips, Phyllis, Sonora, names on the screen. Phyllis Sonora added that her school does not have a need for these books while claiming that underfunded school districts who are shutting down their libraries due to school choice programs could book the, put the books to better use. Well, I could see that. She also criticised Melania's choice of books, calling the Dr. Seuss title Thai Cliches for children's literature. You may not be aware of this, but the Dr. Seuss is a bit of a cliché, a tired and worn ambassador for children's literature. As First Lady of the United States, you have an incredible platform with the world-class resources at your fingertips. Philip Santoro added that the Dr. Seuss books contained illustrative steps in racist propaganda. Oh boy. And offered an alternative list of 10 books that include two titles advocating for legalization of illegal aliens. Of of course she does. She's a fucking progressive. Cranbridge Port Elementary School said that the options expressed by... Whatever her name is. The editorial did not reflect the school's district of the school itself. They released a statement clarifying that she has been counselled on school's policies regarding political activity. In this instance, the employee was not authorised to accept or reject donated books on behalf of the school or the school district. We have counselled the employee on all relevant policies, including the policy against public, public resources being used for political purposes. So, what do I make of all this? Well, to be honest, if she had to just turn around and said, look, at the end of the day, we're a very well-funded school, we have plenty of books. We would much rather you give these to someone who needs them. It probably wouldn't have been a real big issue, and I would have completely agreed with her. But now she's going on about Dr. Seuss being racist, and that's where you lose me. Not to mention the fact that two of the books legalize for illegal aliens. Like, I'm sorry, but if you're an illegal alien, you are just that. You're an illegal alien. That why there's the legal in front of the alien, but I'm digressing. Look at the end of the day, guys. Obviously, does she need to be fired? No, I wouldn't say that. I I'm, guess I'm getting soft in my old age. But like I say, obviously, definitely reprimanded something, put in a note, in a, in a file to say that she's done this in the past in case she keeps doing shit like this. And probably keep an eye on her in case she goes joining BAM or something along those lines. But guys, at the end of the day, I don't know. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Would you have been happy with her just turning around saying, look, we don't need these books because we're very well funded? Do you think that would have been satisfactory? Do you think that she did this because she doesn't like Melania Trump? Uh, reason why I'm asking that is because there's a photo supposedly of her dressed as Cat in the Hat. So if she has such an issue with the actual the series or the book, why is she dressed as it? So that brings up a very good question. But guys, let me know your thoughts are in the comment section below. If this video has been helpful, please smack a like. If you new channel, welcome and subscribe. And apart from that, guys, I'll see you in the next demonetized video from YouTube. Have a great day and enjoy.